Hi guys, junk pile project time. I found this little, well it's clockwork motor. You pull that and that winds it up. I have used it in a previous project. I'm pretty sure it came from a cat toy. I think either a mouse or something like that. I think you pulled it back and it ran off and the cat could chase it. But I'm thinking of making it drive a CD wheel directly. I think I did something similar when I originally did the first project with it. I've been looking around, I found that gear is the right size to go in there. Slide that bit of plastic on there as an axle bearing. Push this, which way was it? That way. Need to get the gear in there somehow. Oh, that's not going to be easy. That's a bicycle spoke I've got there. It's not going to be very powerful. It'll be interesting to see if it works at all. I used this for a rubber band powered car the other day. It's just a piece of cardboard with some pretty coloured uh, paper stuck to it. So I'll glue that on there somewhere. I have to cut into it a bit. Oh, we want it to go the right way, don't we? That is the right way. Well, that's a bit of luck. So I'll glue that in there somewhere. Well that end looks okay.
just some ordinary CDs with the same pretty holographic paper stuck to it. If you didn't see the build of this original car that I've just cannibalised, it is just a piece of cardboard with drinking straw glued on the front of it for the axle tube. And it did have drinking straws on the back for the rear axle tubes, but those are no good for this motor. So, or at least for these thin axles. So that's why I've used thinner tubes there. Right, these particular milk bottle tops have actually got a little dimple in the middle so you can tell where the centre is. Right, I'm going to try and get the wheel as straight as possible. These bottle tops are very soft so I can just push the barbecue skewer straight through.
The other thing I do is I sharpen the end of the barbecue skewer with a pencil sharpener. Obviously one end's usually got a point, point on it anyway, but I sharpen the other end. So that helps you. push through. Are we ready? Oh, I've got a bit of a right turn on it. That picked up speed as it got going there. Excellent. Summary time, what have we got? We've got a clockwork powered car. The body is just piece of cardboard. The wheels are CDs with plastic bottle tops for the hubs. Front axle is a barbecue skewer. Back axle is a bicycle spoke. I can't quite remember where the little clockwork motor came from but it was a toy. It's one that you pull the string to wind it up. And going up and down my kitchen, it's only using about half the power. When it hit the wall at the end, it still had quite a lot of turns left there. And when I picked it up, it carried on going. So I've no idea what sort of distance this will do. It does 8 metres with no trouble at all. Just a final point. I've just found that video that I was thinking of that had the cat toy clockwork motor and it's not quite the same so I'm not sure where this one came from I'll still include details of that other video because it's basically the same thing but this one just looks a little bit different